come from the businessmen who claim their cash registers are feeling the pinch from the rush of records. Shoppers and businesses in the capital city have been complaining for quite some time now about the wrecking frenzy in Port of Spain over the last couple of weeks. The police say it is part of a safe city initiative, while store owners say it's just bad for business. And now there are some other questions. Who really owns the records? And will contracts be given out to secure the wrecking service? If so, how transparent was the selection process? Do we know how the records are chosen, how are they appointed? Is everyone with a record given an opportunity to come to Port of Spain or is it a specific group of people? These questions were put to Acting Police Commissioner Stephen Williams at Wednesday's police media briefing. But Mr. Williams somehow could not come up with any direct answers. So, TV6 tried contacting the Minister of National Security, Jack Warner, for comments. But calls to his Noel fool went unanswered. And when we tried to get some answers from the police services traffic branch, we were told that no one was available to comment on the matter. What the top cop did see was that the police service seemed to be in a place where regardless of what it does, there would always be criticism. What are the things that people want? And as a question, maybe the media could ask people, and Mr. Gregory about, what do people want? If they want improved policing service, and we are seeking to deliver that, and we do it to our best of our ability, we should be encouraged as against this courage. Mr. Booth, however, is not letting up on his complaints about the wrecking frenzy. You still persist in what you are doing. Why are you doing that to us? You are pushing us underwater, you are drowning us, and then you don't understand in the end why we will start slailing and kicking and screaming over what you have done. I can tell you there is big news coming in 2013 if this endeavor isn't halted soon. Big, big news for Port of Spain that is not favorable. Anselm Gibbs, TV6 News.